And it's not just any of the agents in order, is it? You know, no. Okay, Kevin. So tell us a bit about this car because I, I, I noticed the saint is sort of just out of the side of it there, yeah. standing in the doorway. So is this, is this another copy or is this the real deal? This is the real deal. This is number one. This is, no, this is number one. This is the very first actual saint car. That's right. Um, That's amazing, isn't it? Make a round of applause just for that, surely. That's incredible. So tell us a bit about it. How did you get hold of this car? Um, I run the Volvo in pieces. I run the Volvo Enthusiast Club, uh, I founded it. I just said to the blue, somebody phoned me up and said they got it on the Welsh School Club. Wow. And uh, anybody that uh, is into 1800s, it's got a white one, a white safety glass. So yes. I didn't uh, really believe it. <laughs> I'm sure uh, it was up, I went out looking at it, and sure enough, it was the car. It was totally derelict. Um, the engine was in the boot. Sorry, the engine was on the back seat, the gearbox was in the boot. Uh, it had been aerosol red, um, and sure enough, it was 71 DXE, which is its real registration. I was going to say, so how did you check that? Was just, just from the DVLA, or was it just from the records? Well, I've got all the records as well, but I already knew what the shopping was. Oh, okay. So, um, it was a very early Jensen book, and it was built by Jensen's at West Bromwich. Okay. And there were only about 15 Jensen built ones on the road in there, which was red. So it's burning anyway, and now it's super special business. So, I mean, how long did it take to restore? I mean, obviously, how much work did you have to do? How much did it still Um It's taken about eight years to restore it. Um, it was uh, surprisingly uh, good to see how bad it was. Yeah. It's stuck on a hill farm, I guess, a barn in the ground. Um, I had it dipped, and it all was there. And the main tub, the main inside, the main chassis valves and the wings was all paired up. The wall of which is the roof, um, with the external panel, which is glass bar. So I think the mechanical stuff, you said it was inside the car, and it was all okay? No, the edge of it was in the car, it's only done 40 pairs of miles from the game. If you look at it, the film, uh, the goal was stuck. And presumably that's why Bowl will get a new one. 63, okay. or 63. This one is the only car that the film actually bought. Right. <laughs> and uh, the reason why it smoked when I, when I got the car was that the, uh, I didn't ever have a shirt on. And there was a gauge of it. Well, this is the amazing thing. Well, we're just getting this up into the piston. So you fixed that? Yes, yeah, so it's now more than two legal. So. Yeah, okay, so it's transporting. Yeah. So is this something you're never going to sell? You're going to hang on to this project? No, I'll go to the car. Yeah, two yeah. young daughters, and they uh, well, the eldest one to come this one. Oh, really? Okay, so it's, it's no longer yours anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fantastic. So I think they kill me if I didn't make it. So, and it, is this ever going to be used in, I mean, do you use it obviously just for music shows and such, or do you use it as a daily driver? No, I, I've done, uh, I use it a lot, so I've done 10,000 miles in it since I was so. That's good, so you are actually using it just for show Yeah, no, I, I, it was always built to be used, so I don't need the GSD. Uh, I didn't want to, uh, I, it's too much of an iconic car for stuff to make it, so That's true. I did everything I could to make it last, so it's, to say it was a gift to the ecosystem. So it's all basically, yeah, it's just, you, you preserved it as best you can, but you're still using it. Yeah, it's what he said to me, it's snow and excitement. I wanted to stop it, it takes a lot of time. Oh, it was big, 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 just in case, if there's other ones out there, it's just worth it. It's got an insurance plan to 250,000. Okay, there we go. So, uh, <laughs> well, the seats were built, but someone's got a pistol. And then there are two more out in America. Um, the very last one was the one for Lone Car. Yeah. There is an actual Saint Car out there somewhere. That's a new thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're still on the lookout? Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, registration is the very last one. That's the latest. Well, there we go, so if anybody knows where that is, I'm sure Mike would start looking sometime soon. Apparently, why are these still out in America? Uh, yeah, um, uh, so I probably don't need a microphone, but... Uh <laughs> I probably don't. Uh, yeah, in America, uh, Volvo actually sold quite successfully in North America uh, during the uh, 50s and 60s. 
and into the 70s, they still do today, but uh, in terms of these cars, uh, there's plenty of um, station wagons, so there's plenty of ESs going around, there's plenty of station wagons, not so many coupes, uh, but whenever we appear at a car show, wherever we go, you can always find a little P8 and I'm just stuffed in a corner somewhere in either coupe or ES form. Uh, and yeah, very popular. Uh, again, um, slightly underappreciated, I think, in the American market, and it's a slightly underappreciated, uh, but just an amazing car. I have one of these as well, you know, I've had one of them, and I've had one of these. Uh, restored it exactly the same as that, um, spent an awful lot of money getting it right and making it right, uh, and I, it, it angered me, the car angered me uh, ever so slightly, so I got, got rid of it. But one of the things, one of the things that about these cars that was uh, really special, I think, uh, the one that I had was 1973. So if you think what we look like in 1973, you know, big collared shirts, platform shoes, we look like bloody idiots. Uh, but the car that I had had four disc brakes, it was fuel injected and five speed. So it was a thoroughly modern car and it was far more modern than anything we were producing in 1973. And it was wonderful. Absolutely love it. And I still think today, one of the most beautiful cars ever, ever made. There you go. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Stars Cars. Uh, I'd like to show your appreciation for Mr. Ant Hansen. <laughs> Handsome, gorgeous man he is. If you want to find Ant, uh, you can find him around the show. The three of us are usually hanging around here. This is our uh, fast and proud uh, wheeler dealer merchandise shop, so you can usually find all three of us hanging around there. Uh, and you can come and find us, get a picture, sign an autograph, whatever. Uh, please give it up for Kevin. Thank you very much. Oh, well. Where would I be without this man beside me? The one and only Mr. Ed China, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.